Hello there, it's me, Kevin Rick, and in this video, we will be having Factor Theorem. So Factor Theorem is a follow-up of the Remainder Theorem. If you didn't yet watch my video on the Remainder Theorem, kindly check the link in the description box below. Pinag-usapan natin sa Remainder Theorem na if we have a polynomial divided by a binomial, at kung kinuha natin yung C at pinag natin or sinubstitute natin sa polynomial at kung ano yung lumabas na result, then that is the Remainder. Okay. So now, ano ngayon ang connection niya sa factor theorem? Okay, so let p of x be a polynomial. If p of c is equal to 0, then x minus c is a factor of p of x. If x minus c is a factor of p of x, then p of c is equal to 0. Ang sinasabi lang naman ng theorem na to, kapag ginamit natin yung remainder theorem at yung lumabas na remainder ay 0, Meaning, the binomial or the divisor is a factor of the polynomial. So, medyo magulugulo ba? Let's have an example for us to better understand it. Determine whether x minus 4 is a factor of each polynomial. So, we are going to determine if this binomial, x minus 4, is a factor of this polynomial. So, to do that, we use the remainder theorem. Kunin natin si C dito. So that is x minus 4 is equal to 0, x is equal to positive 4. So si positive 4 ang isa substitute natin sa polynomial. Okay, so after substituting, we simplify. Okay, so actually ang result dyan ay 0. So meaning walang remainder. Meaning kung walang remainder, then x minus 4 is a factor of the polynomial. We can say here that x minus 4 is a factor of x cubed minus 2x squared minus 11x plus 12. So, ganun lang po ang nilalaman ng factor theorem. Okay, tingnan naman natin dito sa isang polynomial. Okay, so... Actually, if we evaluate the polynomial at 4, the result here will be 121. So, my remainder siya. We can conclude that x minus 4 is not a factor. Okay? So, ganun po ang factor theorem. So, kung ginamit natin yung remainder theorem at yung lumabas ay 0, then the divisor is a factor. Pero kung may lumabas na value other than 0, then of course, it is not a factor of the given polynomial. Let's have a different problem. Okay, so common to under a factor theorem. Find k so that x plus 3 is a factor of x cubed minus 2x squared minus kx plus 12. So, ang gagawin lang naman dito is that we are going to solve for k given this one. So, ano daw yung magiging value ni k para ang x plus 3 ay magiging factor ng polynomial na to. Always remember na kapag kasinabstitute natin si c from this divisor to the given polynomial at yung lumabas na result ay 0, then that divisor is a factor. Okay, so ang value of C natin dito is negative 3. So, di ba kung isi-substitute natin si negative 3 sa polynomial at kapag ka-0 ang lalabas na sagot, then this is a factor. At yun nga ang gusto nating gawin, di ba? So, kung sinubstitute daw natin ito, it should be 0 para maging factor ito ng polynomial. So, we can expand this. So, ang gagawin natin dito is to substitute negative 3 in the polynomial. Okay? So, ito po, ang P of negative 3, ito ang equivalent niya. So, meron pa tayong, don't forget to equate it to 0. Okay? Now, we simplify. So, if I'm going to add all this, kasi sila naman ang similar terms, the result is actually negative 33. Of course, may natira si plus 3k equate to 0. We solve for k. So, si negative 33 dadalhin sa kabila. So, that will become 3k is equal to positive 33. And so, we solve for k. We divide both sides by 3. 
and k here is equal to 11. So the value of k should be 11 so that x plus 3 is a factor of x cubed minus 2x squared minus kx plus 12. So that's how you solve problems like this. So that's it guys for factor theorem. Thank you again for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.